Hello, I'm in R, RK Ward specifically on an Ubuntu machine and we're going to simulate some data and see how well the delta method uh, theory approximates or is close to what we see in, in the simulation. And so what th this right here, we're going to simulate sample sizes of 6,000 from a mean of 5 and a variance, a normal distribution mean 5, variance 10, and we're going to do 3,000 loops or 3,000 simulations. And the results, here's the for loop. And um, we're going to, each loop we're going to sample from a normal with those mean and variance. And we're going to put the mean in vector 1, the square root of the mean in vector 2, mean squared in vector 3, and then the square root of the mean minus mu plus mean squared in vector 4. And so after the 3,000 loops, then we're going to plot the, the histo histograms of them. Let me go ahead and run it so that can run. It takes uh, four or five seconds to run. And then we'll just look at the histograms of each of those. So here is the histogram of X bar, the X bars that we achieved in uh, with sample size of 6,000 loop, you know, 3,000 uh, replications. And over the top, we're going to put the delta method theory. The delta method says we should get a normal distribution with with the respective mean and variance that we've got in the paper or you know the uh, paper part of this talk or video. So here is the histogram for uh, square root of x bar and the delta method is right on top of the simulated results. So let's look at the uh, x bar squared. And again, the simulated results agrees with the theory of the delta method, almost on right on top of each other. And here is the, the, this expression here. And again, the um, delta method agrees almost identical to the simulated results. And as I'm thinking about this, I used 6,000. And the reason I was doing that was the variance of this expression, um, it, in limit, it goes down to sigma squared. Because this piece right here goes to 0. And then 1 squared is 1, so you just get sigma squared. And so I was going up to 30, 40, 50,000 uh, you know sample size so let's let's go back down to 100 and see what we get so this these are sample sizes of 100 and the simulated and the delta method are again pretty close so we're seeing you know good approximations right there too that's uh, square root of x bar this is x bar squared um, Oh, I didn't use the uh, the right uh, range here. So it goes from, let's say, 15 to 35. So let's put this here. Make that 35 and redraw the normal distribution. Again, right on top of it. So and here's the, uh, the longer expression here. Again, the results agree really closely. Now let's do this for a... Um, binomial distribution. So we're going to have sample sizes of 500 from a binomial with parameters n and 0.3. So mu is np, which is what this says. The variance is npq, and we're going to loop it uh, 2,000 times. So let's do it 3,000 just for fun. And again, we're going to store the results of the mean, the square root of the mean, the mean squared, and then the square root of n times mean minus mu. Um, plus the sample mean squared. So now let's look at the histograms of these. And here's the histogram of x bar. And the delta method says that we should have a mean, you know, where the, this is the line, it's right on top of it. Here is uh, square root of x bar. Again, approximate the simulated results hits the delta method approximation right on the money. Here's x bar squared. And here is uh, the longer expression. Again, they both agree so closely. So anyway, I just wanted to illustrate that the simulated results agree 
almost 100% with the uh, approximation using the delta method. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I sure did. Uh, please like it and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.